it's going to be a good time. It is going to be a great time, especially when we're going to be spending all of our cash, money, and pyro scenes on these summer units. And so to kick things off, we have Summer Azusa, who is going to be the first in the line of these summer units. However, although Blue Archive has not shown any images of Summer Mashiro, I was like, well, might as well just evaluate her as well. Hi. Welcome back to another Blue Archive video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about Summer Azusa as well as Summer Mashiro over here. And so in a nutshell, if you don't really want to watch this video and kind of get the message in the first 30 or whatever seconds, you got to pull. There are an infinite amount of reasons as to why you should pull. The first one being like, well, you know, they're cute. But the TLDR for Summer Azusa is that she is going to be ultra, ultra meta in a lot of different raids. And I'll explain why very soon. And on the other hand, we have Summer Mashiro over here, a swimsuit version. And her TLDR is that she is a Tsubaki killer. PvP must pull. But yeah, aside from that, they are, they're cute. So you gotta pull for that reason anyway, right? And so with that said, let's break down these characters, talk about why exactly they are so sought after. So before I go anywhere, let me show you the Summer Azusa, this ranking thing. So if you guys are a regular viewer, you should know this spreadsheet by now. Shout out to Soki for the weird champ raid rating. And you will see that Azusa swimsuit is 9.5 for Bina and a 9.5 Hiero. And she doesn't even belong to the element. There is a lot of explaining to do. Okay, and so with this context in mind, let's evaluate her. But before that, I do need to go through her skills so that you know kind of what is going on. To kick things off, on her EX skill, she has big, big damage and more big, big damage in a nutshell. That's pretty much what it is. And then next, we're going to go over to the normal skill. Let me just make that a little bit bigger. And this bad boy essentially gives her an insane amount of crit damage for quite a long time. Like if you can do a little bit of mental math, you realize that the uptime on this is quite insane. At max level, the crit damage increase is up by 40%. That is double of level one, which is honestly really, really freaking good. Moving on to the passive skill, it is a pretty clear one. It's increased attack by 26% at max. However, let's get into the sub skill, which is the most important skill of her kit and probably in the entire game. Now, upon first inspection, every attack has a 30% chance to reduce her enemy's defense by X amount for 13 seconds with a 5 second CD. And so here comes the explanation as to why she is so good. And shout out to the guys in the help channel at the Blue Archive Discord for helping me out to understand this. But essentially what it boils down to is like debuffs or defense down and how it interacts between the sub skill, passive skill or whatever. So in a nutshell, defense down skills only stack if they are not of the same type of skill. And so therefore let me pull up a little example. So so exhibit A, we have normal Azusa over here. And if I scroll down to her skills, you will see that her defense down skill is on the normal skill. Now, if I was to go over to Maki over here, Maki also has a defense down skill on her basic skill. And so what I am saying is that this skill, Paintball Lob, the basic skill defense down, will not stack with this normal skill. And I think there's just some issues with the translations. Let's just call it skill one, like the first skill. The first skill, normal skill, basic skill, whatever you wanna call it, they are both occupying the same skill type. So what that means is that if Azusa fires off this Sagita Mortis and it inflicts defense down on a boss, for example, then when Maki goes to use her defense down skill, Paintball Lob, it will actually not stack. You will only see one defense down icon. Whereas if they actually stacked, the defense down icon would be the defense down icon times two. So what this means is that if you really want to stack defense down, you need one of the EX skill defense downs, which is provided by Akane, a basic skill defense down, an enhanced skill defense down, which I don't know if it exists, and a sub skill defense down, which our Summer Azusa has. And on that note, she is the only character I believe in the game right now, even on JP, to have a defense down skill on her sub skill. So yeah, that is a massive, massive reason as to why Summer Azusa over here is very, very useful for Bina as well as Hiero. In the interaction between the Azusa, the base Azusa, as well as Maki, it is actually reflected over here. So we have Bina, and if I scroll down a little bit looking for Maki, Maki is an 11 for Bina, and well, with defense down on her skill 1, for Azusa, you would actually expect her to be quite good on Bina. However, she is a 7 over here because the Maki is going to clash with the Azusa. Although Azusa does like fantastic single target damage. All right, hopefully you do understand why Summer Azusa is so sought after. Again, it's because of this sub skill. Although I do want to make one last note about defense down. And it 
is that there is actually a cap on defense down and a lot of other different mechanics where the defense down cannot go past 80%. But to be honest, especially at this point in the game, there is very, very little chance that we will ever see 80% defense down anyway. All right, I think that is enough for Summer Azusa over here. I am certainly going all in. I will definitely be streaming the pool, so get freaking hyped. Though with that said, let's go over to Summer Mashiro and talk about why she is the Tsubaki killer. All right, so moving down, moving down, let's have a look at her skills. The EX skill, Justice Baptism, reduces the evasion of a single enemy by 30.1% for 30 seconds and then deals the 640% damage afterwards. Now, this is so, so incredibly important in the context of Tsubaki because Tsubaki has an insane amount of evasion. And so if we were actually able to reduce the evasion of the Tsubaki and then hit her with a massive multiplier damage, there is honestly a pretty good chance that she is going to like get freaking wrecked. Like honest to God, I don't know about you guys, but my Haruna misses on the Tsubakis so, so much. And so yeah, this skill, this Justice Baptism is a massive, massive deal. However, she also has a lot more to her kit. With her normal skill, we are going to see an increase to critical damage to one of the allies with the highest attack by 36%. Wow. It is exactly what it sounds like, right? Like, it is really, really freaking good. Massive DPS upgrade. All right, so moving through, next we have the passive skill in which her own attack is increased by 26.6% attack. Pretty standard. And so let's finish it off with the sub skill, which is another fantastic PvP sub skill. So I know it does look a little bit lackluster. All of our allies gaining accuracy by 17.3% at max level. But for most people who even try to PvP, you you guys are gonna realize already realize that like the value of accuracy is just so insanely high in pvp to be honest like the moment you saw this skill you should have been like oh my lord what a sick kit and so it is for all of these reasons that Summer Mashiro is a machine at killing Tsubaki. However, Summer Mashiro or Smashiro or Smash, depending on who you ask, she is certainly not a recipe of like instant win in PvP. We already know how freaking annoying and RNG prone it is. So if you guys do keep losing in PvP, like I am not liable. You cannot sue me for that, okay? However, with that, I think that's pretty much it for the video. Sama Mashiro over here and then Sama Azusa, both incredible units, both ultra cute. And so my boys, summer has arrived. Let me know if you are going to be rolling for Summer Azusa or Summer Mashiro and the reason that you're going to be rolling for them. Because to be honest, I am a massive Mashiro fan as well as an Azusa fan and I would be rolling for them even if they weren't ultra meta. Just like how I want to roll for Summer Iori even though she isn't meta. I don't, yeah, I don't know like where she is even used. But my guys, I want this and I want this not for meta reasons. So let me know if you guys are indeed going to be rolling for the Summer Azusa as well as the Summer Mashiro or maybe only one or the other. Let me know down in the comments below and if you do end up leaving a comment, I would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video, so thank you guys so much. If this video did help you or you did enjoy it, then please consider a like and if you would like to see more, please consider a subscribe. But otherwise, as your girl Summer Mashiro once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.